a bomb revelation by scientists. Parallel universes not only exist, but they also interact. Well, we know we have the spiritual world right next to us. Many of us sometime, sometimes have our eyes opened by divine grace to be able to see, for example, angels. Now, for the average person, quantum mechanics is the most confusing and difficult to understand as a science. A new radical theory of this branch of physics now comes to support that parallel universes exist and how they interact with each other, and they emphasize that such a thing will soon be documented with scientific uh, conclusions to tests that they will make. Physics professor Howard Wiseman of Griffith University in Brisbane, Australia, along with his colleagues, Dr. Drs. Michael Hall of the same academy and mathematics professor Dr. Dirk Andre Derrick of University of California, Davis, published their research titled Many Interacting Worlds, MIW for short, for the scientific journal Physical Review X. And according to the above, the universities are multiple and are in direct relationship with each other. The idea of parallel worlds in quantum mechanics has been known since 1957, Wiseman says in a written statement, according to his theory, each universe subdivides into a bunch of new universes. So in a well-known multiverse interpretation, each universe becomes the matrix for new universes every time a new measurement is made. So in this multiverse, all possible scenarios are realized. In some of these worlds, for example, Australia was colonized by the Portuguese. According to Wiseman, we live in only one of the finite, infinite worlds that exist, some of which are identical to our own. Most are completely different. Second finding is that all worlds are, are equally real, existing continuously through time, but each with its own particularities. Third, the repulsion between close and identical worlds causes quantum effects that eventually make initially similar worlds diverge. All quantum phenomena arise solely from the interaction between worlds, explains the professor. The radical element of the new theory is that it includes assumptions that make it possible to test experimentally the existence of other universes besides our own. The attractiveness of our approach is that if there is only one world, it's redu it reduced to Newtonian mechanics while it transforms into quantum mechanics in the case of the existence of a huge number of multiple worlds, the professor and his team point out. When this number is limited, then the theory predicts something completely new, which is neither Newtonian mechanics nor quantum physics. According to the scientists, in addition to its value for theoretical physics, the new theory, if confirmed, would better explain phenomena related to chemical reactions as well as the action of various drugs. We also believe that by providing a new conceptual picture of the effects of quantum mechanics will be useful in designing experiments to test and exploit quantum effects, the researchers conclude. And Bill Poirier, distinguished professor of chemistry at Texas Tech University observes, these are big ideas, not only conceptually, but also in terms of new numerical discoveries that are almost certain to produce. And then we have uh, Mr. Nanopoulos from the Athens Agency a few months ago concerning his comments on parallel universes. He estimates based on mathematical equations that it's possible to have 10 in 500 universe, universes um, according to the theory of supersymmetry, S-U-S-Y, and superstrings, which predicts that in addition to the known four big dimensions, three of space, length, width, height, and time, there are still six or seven which are folded into a terribly small space, bringing the total number of dimensions to 10 or 11. We live in 10 dimensions, but we don't realize it, he said characteristically. The theory of the multiverse or many parallel universes has various versions, one of which is strongly promoted by Mr. Nanopoulos, who, however, emphasizes that such a theory only makes sense if it becomes possible to prove it experimentally, and the Great Accelerator can help with the hadron, this hadron uh, of the European Organization uh, for Nuclear Research, CERN, that is. 
as the Greek physicist argues, each individual universe, including ours, within its multiverse, may have its own distinct physical laws that apply to it, while in other universes, the laws that govern them may be unimaginably different or even re relatively similar, similar, but they certainly have gravity as a common denominator. One universe gives birth to another in a perpetual process of producing universes which, as he says, removes the concept of the beginning and end of time. The other universes, which he called reality bubbles that make up the multiverse, may be very close together but cannot communicate. But he did not rule out that it's probably possible to make a transition from one universe to another. All universes with their particular laws basically arise by themselves like a local mutation of space in a pre-existing universe. Mr. Nanopoulos did not even rule out as science fiction scenarios bold assumptions that some universes could, for example, be the creation of a hacker in some other universe. He pointed out that if the multiverse theory is finally proven, then we will understand the mechanism of production of universes. So as outrageous as it sounds, it's possible that in the future, a universe will be created in the laboratory. He also mentioned that it's not excluded that the universe we live in will now will be created again exactly the same in the future, while our current universe would be the youngest of the past, that is, it has already existed many times. However, he made it clear that it is still too early to confirm such hypotheses, but added that they are ultimately logical consequences of the larger multiverse theory, which one f should follow and investigate. According to him, the universe we see of visible matter, which is 13.7 billion years old, is only 4%, the rest being invisible, consisting of 23% dark matter and 73% from dark energy. It's estimated that in our universe alone, there are about 100 billion galaxies, and each of them has about 100 billion suns, around which a huge number of planets orbit. Mr. Ninopoulos also said that the sun will one day go out, but our universe, which is constantly expanding, is open, Therefore, it will never die while it's possible to make a transition to another universe blister or bubble. Responding to the philosophical ramifications of the multiverse theory, he said it points to a new enlightenment that opens new paths for humanity while denying that there are any barriers and limits to the human mind's ability to grasp the reality of the universe other than the inevitable quantitative, quantitative limits to the accumulation of knowledge in the human mind. But that's why, as he said, computers exist as our helpers, while in the future their relationship with people could become even closer. He also denied that by accumulating more and more knowledge, people are losing their wisdom. At the same time, he agreed with the assessment of other scientists that sooner or later the Earth will hardly withstand its problems, therefore it's necessary to prepare for the resettlement of humanity onto other planets. Please leave your comments about this and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.